How to install TWRP recovery and root your Xiaomi Mi 11X or the Poco F3 without any data loss. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install TWRP recovery and root your Poco F3, the Xiaomi Mi 11X or the Redmi K40 without any data loss. Do note, all these three devices are the same, just sold with different names in different regions. Now, what are the prerequisites for this video? Well, for starters, you do need to have an unlocked bootloader. And how do you unlock the bootloader? We do have a separate video for that, which can be found in the description of the video. Next thing, you do need access to a computer and you also need fast boot, ADB drivers, setup. All those links are in the description of the video as well. Can you do this without a computer? Yes, you can do this without a computer, but then you would also need access to another phone. And again, the video for that can also be found in the description of this video. I have the POCO F3. This is running MIUI 12.5.1. However, the process will work on all versions of MIUI, which does include MIUI 12 as well, and hopefully the upcoming MIUI 13 also. Now, what are the files, the drivers, everything, as I mentioned, is linked in the description of the video. So on the phone, you do need two files. So let me open the file manager application and change the view. We can go into the download folder. So these are the two files which you need. You need TWRP recovery for the POCO F3, Redmi K40, Xiaomi Mi 11X, and then if you want to root your device, you also need the Magisk APK. These two files are needed on your phone. On the computer, you need platform tools, and then you need your TWRP recovery file. So this file is needed on your computer as well. Next thing, let us open the gallery application. Here are two photos which I have taken, and I'm showing you these two pictures just to let you know that there will be no data loss so here we are on the computer and as you can see we do have the adb and fastboot and we also have the twrp recovery for the mi 11x or the poco f3 do note that right now we are using an unofficial build for the purpose of this video however if and when official builds do show up they will be linked in the description of the video and the file name might change next up what we need to do is we need to extract or unzip this platform tools and i am using winrar you are free to use any software which you want to so we are going to right click on the file and say extract here now once the extract process has finished successfully we are going to go inside this folder and here in you can see we do have adb over here and we also have fast boot. Next thing, we will go back and we are going to move this TWRP file into the platform tools folder. And now if I go in the platform tools folder, you will see that we have ADB, fast boot and the TWRP file in the same folder. Next thing, we are going to rename this file. And why are we renaming this? We are renaming this just to make it easy for us to type it in. So we are going to rename it to say TWRP hyphen me 11 x and then press the enter key in case you do have the option of showing file extensions enabled you might see the extension dot img with the file in which case just keep the extension as is next thing of course we need to boot our phone into fast boot mode so here it is miui 12.5 and this of course is the poco f3 but the process is going to work on any variant of the redmi k40 which includes the redmi k40 the mi 11x or the poco f3 whatever you want to call it do note just to avoid any issues i have removed any password fingerprint face unlock which i do have set up so we are going to turn the device off and once the device has turned off we are going to press and hold volume down and power button at the same time till we see the fast boot logo so there it is we have the fast boot logo next up we need to connect our phone to the computer using the usb cable now back to the computer we can tap on the address bar here and here and type in cmd and press the enter key this is going to open the command prompt and as you can see we do have command prompt and we are in the correct folder as well which is your platform tools now i do recommend that you do not have any spaces in the names of the folder 
because they do tend to interfere with the process sometimes. First command we are going to execute is dir space slash p press the enter key. Now as you can see we have adb here executable file adb.exe then you have fastboot.exe and you also have the twrp file for the mi 11x or the poco f3 as you can see the extension is dot img first command we are going to execute is to check whether our device is being detected in fastboot mode or not so the command for that is fastboot devices press the enter key bam there it is you can see device is being detected in fastboot mode now do note in case your device is not detected you may have to install the drivers and the drivers as i mentioned earlier in the video along with the fix for amd devices is linked in the description of the video all you have to do is unzip the files execute them as administrator reboot your computer next thing we need to do is we need to boot into twrp recovery on our mi 11x or the poco f3 so the command for that is fast boot boot and the name of the file in this case it is twrp me 11 ximg so there it is we have entered the command fast boot space boot space name of the file twrp me 11 ximg and then we can press the enter key now once i press the enter key the device is going to boot into twrp so there it is sending boot dot img and pretty soon the device will reboot there it is it has rebooted pretty soon we should be able to see the team win logo here it is twrp logo in the building and next up we do have the twrp recovery menu at this point feel free to disconnect your device from the computer and we do not need the computer anymore so here we are on the twrp recovery main menu if i go into install you will see i am able to see my internal storage i'm going to download we do have the magisk apk and next up we will tap on the home button go into advanced here and select install recovery ram disk now you need to navigate to the folder where you have transferred the twrp recovery image file if you downloaded it on your phone directly it will be in the download folder here it is twrp in case you transferred it from your computer you would know where it is so select the file and then next up do select backup existing image this is going to back up the existing image which we have just in case we run into any issues and then swipe to install and there it is as you can see the process finished without any issues next up we will tap on the home button going to reboot and select recovery and there it is as you can see we have successfully booted back into twrp let us try one thing let us going to reboot and select system what i'm trying to test here is that if you boot back into miui on my poco f1 on the poco x3 pro the twrp recovery gets replaced with stock me recovery if you do not flash magisk because miui has scripts to do that so we have booted back into miui we can go into settings and about phone still 12.5.1 let us turn the device off and then try to boot into our custom recovery which is twrp by pressing and holding volume up and power button at the same time till we see the recovery logo so here it is we do have the poco logo and bam there it is we have booted back into twrp what does this mean this means that on the mi 11x or the poco f3 on stock mi ui you do not have to flash magisk to make sure that twrp or your custom recovery is not replaced with stock me recovery which i think is a pretty good thing next up we are here to root our device so we will go into install and here is the sd card or the internal storage go into download select the magisk apk yes twrp now supports flashing magisk apk so you do not have to rename it and then swipe to confirm flash and there it is magisk was flashed without any issues let us go ahead and reboot back into system back into miui let us unlock our device for starters let us go into settings and about phone still 12.5.1 based on android 11 and i should have a magisk application if it is not there we can wait for some time and in the meantime let the wi-fi connect tap on got it and let me see if we have the magisk here it is magisk in the building select it make sure you're connected to the wi-fi because you do need to update to the latest or full magisk version to finish the setup select okay it is going to download magisk go into settings allow from this source 
super duper danger from me ui previously it was five seconds now i need to wait for 10 seconds oh well 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 and also make sure i am aware so make sure you are aware select okay and once that is done you can go back install magisk package installer can go to hell i don't want to give you any permission to scan anything anyways this is now done and as you can see magisk icon has changed let us open magisk hide it and installed version is 23 so this on top is the magisk version which is your root and this here is the version of the app right now both of them are same we can also check for safety net it might fail because we have an unlocked bootloader so there it is evaluation type is set as hardware so your safety net will fail as soon as you unlock the bootloader magisk has nothing to do with it let me try one thing let us go into settings enable magisk hide go back check for safety net one more time and i'm pretty sure it's going to fail because eval type was set as hardware so yes safety net failed and as i mentioned earlier it is failing as soon as you unlock the bootloader next up let us open the gallery application as well so here it is the pictures are still there and that means there was no data loss either and before i forget another important thing is that because for the mi 11x or the poco f3 the recovery is in the ram disk which is in the kernel or the boot image every time you flash a custom kernel you will have to repeat the steps of injecting the twrp image into the ram disk so every time you flash a custom kernel or a custom rom which has its own kernel of course then before booting back you have to inject the twrp image into the ram disk i know it's a pain but it is what it is and there it is peeps that is how you install twrp recovery and root your poco f3 or the xiaomi mi 11x or the redmi k40 without any data loss and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you